back to my channel if you've managed to find this video welcome on my channel i make beauty lifestyle vlog and sometimes even tech related videos so if that is what interests you uh, consider giving this channel a follow and yeah on today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my phone so i'll be showing you guys the apps that i frequently use as well as how I customize the phone to my liking. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the phone that I am using. It is the Samsung S21 and I got it in the color Phantom Pink. So you can see I've added a case to the phone as well as a ring holder. So the phone did come with the Galaxy Buds. This is how it looks like on the inside. So before I show you guys what's in my phone, I wanted to show you guys how my lock screen looks like. So to turn on the screen, you double tap the screen twice. And as you can see, I have a clock widget at the top that tells me the time and the date. And of course, my wallpaper or wall video is of these really cute puppies. So this super cute video can be found on YouTube and I edited it to be shorter so that it fits perfectly with my phone lock screen. And yeah, so that's my lock screen and just scan my finger to get into my phone. So when I unlock my phone, this is what my home screen looks like. As you can see, I have a few widgets at the top of the screen and a bunch of my frequently used apps at the bottom. So for me personally, I just do like to have everything in one page. So the most frequently used apps for me are all in one page. And I like to have it like that rather than have apps spread across a few different screens just so that I have everything in one spot and I can just access it quickly. So yeah, let me just explain to you guys what is happening here. So my Home screen wallpaper is actually this really cute illustration that I got off this artist named Graffolio on Naver. And there's also another artist that I really like. Um, I'll put the Instagram username right here. Um, also a Korean illustrator. Very cute. But this, this is the illustration that I went for that you can find on Naver. So that is for the wallpaper and moving on to the widgets which I have at the top half of my screen. So the first widget that I have is actually from this app called KWTG. And why I like this app is because it really allows you to customize how the widget looks like. For example, you can have, for, for me I have a transparent background but you can choose to have a background for your widget. You can customize like where the, the position of the text. So for example, you can move this to the left, you can move this to the right, you can move it up and down. KWTG does have a pro app, which you have to pay for, and that app allows you to customize your widgets even more. But I am using the free app, which you can find in the Play Store. And beside of that widget, I have the weather widget, which is really useful to just know what the weather is, the temperature. Um, at the bottom, of course, I have my Google search bar for hmm, quickly searching up stuff. And at the bottom of that, I have my Spotify player, which I can use to quickly switch between songs. So that's really useful. So that's the widgets, the most frequently um, widgets that I use. And moving on to my apps, the most frequently used apps that I have. So the first category is social media. So these are all the social media apps that I use. So we have Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, TikTok, and you know, all the basic stuff. So we have Instagram, of course, that's where I post photos and stuff like that. Um, I do have WhatsApp, which is my primary mess uh, messaging app, but I also do have Messenger. I do use these two quite frequently, but yeah, WhatsApp is my primary one. 
um, TikTok, of course. Um, if you like to see food related content, I do run a food foodie account on TikTok. So do check that out if you are interested. Um, yeah, and then I have Pinterest for when I want to be inspired or I'm trying to think of photo ideas that I want to recreate for my Instagram. I will look up on Pinterest and then oh, just other messaging apps like Kakao and Discord and of course LinkedIn. And yeah, especially YouTube, uh, YouTube Studio, which is an app that I use to track the amount of views that I have on my recent videos and also I use it to reply to comments as well and yeah reddit and netflix and on the second folder is the photography folder so I have google photos um, lightroom which I use which I mainly use to do major edits for my videos so applying presets or creating presets um, you know like lighting in my photos exposure and stuff like that and snow snow is a really interesting one because it's a really cool um, app that gives you so many effects and filters which are very cute so it's a really cool app if you like applying really interesting filters and making your photos interesting I do recommend that one you like is similar to snow but they do have different filters, so I like to keep these, both these apps. We have, of course, Visco, we have CapCut, which I use to edit my TikTok videos. So CapCut is a really simple video editing um, app that you can edit your videos and then apply simple effects and stuff like that. So I really like CapCut. Um, Airbrush is for removing blemishes and stuff like that or airbrushing the skin. Pixar is another cool app as it allows. It's, it's, I sort of think of it as a mobile Photoshop but of course it's not as advanced but Pixar is a really good app for if you like to do you know heavier editing. Picnic is a really interesting app to have because I use it to change the sky in the backgrounds so for example, for this photo, as you can see, you can basically change the sky to however you'd like. You can have it cloudy, have a rainbow. So this app is pretty cool for when I have photos that have a beautiful background, but the sky is a bit dull. So I will use this app to add a new sky and add clouds, I guess. Oh, especially this one. I do like this one. So yeah, as you can see, the sky looks different, way different. And I didn't even have to mask, the, the app did it itself, so it's really fast and convenient. And yeah, and it gets the job done. So I do like that app. Um, other than that, Prequel is another really cool app that has a lot of pretty and unique um, filters. So for the preview app, I use it to arrange my Instagram photos. So I try to batch create a bunch of content for my Instagram. And sometimes it's quite confusing without the preview app to schedule your posts and to see how all of the posts look like together. So I do have preview to try and shift the images around to see you know, what placement is best for each photo. And I have Motionly that I recently downloaded but I haven't tried, so apparently it can turn your static image into a moving one. Uh, I do have a carousel app which allows you to cut panoramic images so that, you know, when you scroll on carousel, it looks like it's one photo, but it's actually cut into a few photos so that you can put it onto a carousel on Instagram. And I do have a Canon Connect app which I use for my Canon camera and yeah by connecting with my phone I can control the camera's functions using my phone which is really helpful and I also have the DJI Mimo app which I connect to my smartphone gimbal and yeah that is all for my photography folder for my shopping folder I think it's really cool that I even have a folder like this but on my shopping fol uh, folder I have food delivery apps and as well as um, 
clothing shopping apps. So moving on, I have an education folder. Um, in this folder, I have just the apps that I use most frequently for school. So yeah, I have a few translating apps and of course Google Drive and of course Canvas for all my school content. Yep, and at the bottom, I have the clock app, gallery app, camera app, calculator, and setting. Towards the bottom of the screen, I have my messaging app, contacts, and phone app. So yeah, as you can see, um, these apps are not the default app icons that come with the Samsung. They are um, customized to be this design. And how I did this is actually through the Galaxy Themes app. So in the Galaxy Themes app, you can actually change the entire theme of your phone to a one specific consistent theme, which is really cool. So you have like cute themes such as this, it will change everything, like even within the app, the color palette will change and stuff like that, which is really cool. But I prefer my interface to be minimal and not too colorful. So I only decided to change the icons. So there are op uh, paid options they can see on here, which a bunch of them are really cute. But mine, I got off the popular free icons page. And for my icon designs are under the pink room yun song theme. So these are all my apps. So these are all the same apps that you can see in my home screen right here. Yeah, so that is all for the first page of my phone. And if you scroll to the left, you can see that I have this scheduling widget, which tells me the time and days of my school classes. So this widget, I've, I actually got off this app called Class Up. And I really like this widget because you can customize you know, the background transparency as well as the box transparency of the classes as well as you know, the color of the text and the size even so I also made sure to choose cute pastel colors for my uh, classes so yeah I really like this widget it's really convenient to just scroll and see oh, what what's my next class yep and on the right side I have my calendar widget which you can actually find which you can actually find in the list of widgets that Samsung provides so mine's just a regular calendar um, widget which you can you can change the size so I've made it just full size so yeah I love this widget because I have really bad memory so I have to put everything that's going on in my life in my calendar app so it's just so nice to have like a page that I can just scroll to easily and just see everything that's happening and just make sure that I don't forget anything. So it's nice to have. So yeah, that is all I have on my phone. Um, if you guys would like me to make other videos regarding my S21, do let me know in the comments. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, uh, consider giving it a like. If not, Thank you so much regardless for getting to the end of the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.